to try to talk as loud as I can, but I'm not sure exactly how loud it can be. Okay. Uh, and excuse me if I start getting into the weeds. Sorry. Okay. Um, so today on American Idol was the top 12 performers for Swarm. Um, and it was Billings Jane Banks. The first, uh, first contestant up was Michael Wait with Miss You, which I thought was solid, but kind of predictable. It's like, yes, we know who you are, and give us something different, um, because the items are such a different, have been different this time. And it turned out to be some fun women, they were really good, really good, um, to look for. But apparently, Randy thought he slayed it, Ellen thought he was amazing, good, good, good. Kara thought he was hot on stage, and um, but Simon did think it was a bit desperate. Uh, next up would be Dee Dee Benami, who uh, sang Play With Fire. I thought it was a bit dull at times, not all the time, just a little bit at times. Um, but some parts, there were some points you could definitely feel the electricity flow in her voice. Um, also, I'm going to interrupt myself real quick. Um, I'm sorry if I'm a little bit mumbly. Um, I'll try to speak with a higher tone of voice, because apparently that's when you can hear me better. But, um, I like going deep in tone of voice, which makes it a little bit mumbly. Um, so I'll, I'll try my best I can. Okay? Promise. Okay. Um, Randy says she was on fire. One of her best performances of Hello, Didi Benami. Um, Ellen thought she sounded great, and uh, Kara thought she got the dawn off her. She had a compelling and sweet voice, and uh, Simon said it was a solid performance. Stacey James is next, uh, with It's All Over Now, and I'm sorry for looking down, but I have my notes, so there you go. Um, I thought it was fun, catchy, but just a bit karaoke-ish. Um, Randy loved it. Ellen thought he was fantastic. I love Ellen. <laughs> Her quotation on that part, um, when she was like, Of all the ladies who love you, you know, because of how you look, but ladies like me, you know, everyone starts laughing, and then she just says, Blondes. <laughs> Lower. Okay. Um, Kara thought he was a rock star. Best performance of his ever, apparently. And... But Simon did think it was a, a bit of an audition performance, which I, I agreed to, I think he made the right point. Uh, Lacey Brown on Ruby Tuesday. Um, I thought she made it her own. Randy was pleasantly surprised, thought it was an interesting choice, or an interesting arrangement. Um, Ellen was thought it was a tiny bit sleepy, and her um, she was a bit opposite, like, in the slow parts she would be standing and then the exciting parts she'd be sitting down and I did notice a lot of uh, her sitting down on the edge but you know it can work with the right songs like she like um in the semi-finals but it can be a little redundant and I would suggest trying to get up especially for the you know the more uh exciting parts of the song but sorry um Kara thought it was a 50-50. She, you know, her voice was clear, but, you know, whatever. Simon thinks she performs like an actress. You know, she's got to stop overthinking. She's got to make it try to be perfect. Um, she's just got to get out there. She's just got to show her emotion and and her, um, and her character. Next. Was Andy Garcia who sang uh, "Give Me Shelter"? I definitely forgot he was a contestant on the show for a bit, um, and by that I mean I totally forgot his performance. It was dull. He botched the long note, and there was no way. And um, Randy thought he was pitchy everywhere. You know, old, you know, a bit low on a lot of places. Um, However, Ellen thought it was his best performance yet. Performance yet. Kara thought there was a lack of connection. He needs more intensity. Um, and Simon said, 
you know, something didn't connect. He also agreed with Kara in that sense that something did not connect. Um, but again, still, they're still connecting him or, um, comparing him with Straight Up. And again, if you want to keep getting, com uh, be compared with Straight Up, you know, and he's not going to do better each week, it's probably best that, uh, he goes home. In my opinion. Just my opinion. Okay. Next is Katie Stevens with Carnal Courses. Uh, she's got a great voice. I really think she's got a great voice, but there was no well moment for me. And it was verging on dull. D-U-L-L. D- What was it? D-U-L-L. Um, Randy, I thought she sang it really well. Miss Dong. Ellen said she started pitchy, but great when she went into it. And Kara thought it was a nice variation of the song. And Simon thought it was a great choice, but it lost emotion in the second uh, half, which I definitely agree with, actually, um, Ella and Simon. Uh, next was Tim Urban, Under My Thumb. Um, it was pretty good, but it was definitely was not his best performance. It wasn't high under the FM last week which I thought was his best performance. It was really, really good. Um, but this week, Under My Thumb, not his best. Um, Randy didn't like it. Ellen didn't think there was a wow moment. Kara, she congratulated him for doing something different, and so did Simon, but said he, it didn't work. Um, we're only around here, 6.50. Okay, I don't want to repeat every episode. Sharon Mang, Paint It Black. Um... I thought she did very well. Again, I might be biased, but you know, because I'm a huge fan of her PM, um, I thought she did very well. Although she, you know, she almost failed the last note, but um, she recovered it at the end with the last, you know, strong note. She danced a little bit, eh, and then um, recovered it. Um, with that softness at, at the end. Um, there's so much energy in what she did, so. Randy thought, um, that it was hot. Ellen says she stands out. Kara thought it was the best interpretation of the night. And Simon said it was a standout performance. It was the standout performance of the night. And it looks like there's, like, lightning and flashes in the back. It's my TV, I think. Um, last four performances. See if I can do it under 10 minutes. Lead to Wise with Beast of Burden. Oh, I thought it was sensual. Uh, but he can be a bit mumbly. Just a bit mumbly. Kind of like me. Okay, so enunciate. Mm -hmm. Okay, Randy thought it was dope. Ellen was expecting more. Kara thought he was growing more than all the other uh, performers. Simon says there's no personality. It was, it was a very safe song and an incredibly, but he has an incredibly great voice. And I completely agree. Um, he's got to get out of that shell fast. Next is Peter Tamayo's A Honky Tonk Woman. Um, the end was better than the first half, and she definitely had stage presence. Um, Randy liked it. Ellen thought she sounded great. Kara said that he did Frankenstein said a bit generic, but did not, and did not connect, um, Next, Aaron Kelly, who sang Anarchy. I thought it was a bit sick, but he has a great voice. Definitely has heard. Um, Randy thought it was what he was born to sing. Ellen said he had a great song choice. Kara said he connected with the song. And Simon said it was 100% the right song, which I agree, actually, uh, upon, you know, reevaluating the episode. Okay, 40 seconds. Crystal Bauer sucks. You can't always get what you want. I thought it was original, and the, um, and the end was strong. Randy didn't think it was the best, but he still was not disappointed. Ellen thought she seemed a step eve and added more personality with it, you know. Kara thought she was more comfortable than all the others, and then Simon, uh, thinks she was beat by Siobhan. <laughs> okay, so I totally agree, just because I'm biased. Okay, uh, that, a little more than 10 seconds. I will be back tomorrow with the elimination, or is it Thursday, whatever. Whenever it is, I'll be back with the elimination. Um, until then, uh, happy viewing and good night.